Right then, third vid for the first lesson, and we're going out with a bang. This is like a really, really um, tricky question, actually. I'll find that somewhere we've got like an animation for it, so you can move it around and see what's going on. So it says O to A to B to C is a trapezium. So it must have a set of parallel lines. CB is parallel and three times as long as OA. So OA is A. So C to B must be three lots of A there. O to C is C. So be careful with the direction. So find O to B. So A. So O to B. So to go from O to B, the easiest way is to go from O to C and then go from C to B. So O to B is a C in the right direction plus 3A in the right direction. So that's A. Ooh. E and F are the midpoints of AC and OB respectively. Find OE and OF in terms of A and C. Right, so OE. Hmm. How are we going to do that then? Uh, well, we could. Let's think about going from O to E. There's different ways of getting there. But I reckon we could go across from O to A and then go halfway between A and C. And that will get us there. Halfway from A to C. But I've got to put it in terms of A and C, haven't I? So my OE, so I'm happy. So that's A. The half A to C, though, is a little bit more tricky. Right, to get from A to C, because you know, we've got to think in terms of all these vectors, do you? To get from A to C is A going the wrong way, because it's going there, and then it's C going the right way. So it's minus A plus C. Can you kind of follow that? So to get from, o to C, uh, from A to C, I'm doing A the wrong way, and then C the right way. But I'm only going half the distance. Right. right, so if I expand my brackets, OE, I've got an A minus a half an A, so I've got a half of an A, and then I've got plus a half of a C there. So I could, if I wanted to, write it as a half A plus C there. Right, so I've still got a left to find it now, haven't I? So to get from O to F, hmm, I need to go from O to C, and then, let's have a look, O to F. It's a half of O to B. Okay, so let's have a look. So we're going to do, oops, I don't want to lose that, do I? So that's a half of the vector from O to B. Now, how would I get from O to B? So a half of O to B, we're obvious now. So to get from O to B, I'm going to do a C. So that takes me from O to C, and then a 3A. I'm only going to half as far, half as far for that one. Check the answers, make sure I'm OK. Yeah, that'll do us, that works. Right, so that is moderately OK. It's this proof that... The quadrilateral from O to E to F to A is a parallelogram. Right then. So this is where it's getting messy now. So I've got something, so O to E to F to A is a parallelogram. So remember, a parallelogram is two sets of parallel sides. So O to E, to F, to A, two sets of parallels. So two sets of multiples of each other. Right, I'm going to have a 15 second scratchy head while I have a quick think about it. I'm just going to pause it for a second because I lost my train of thought and I'll check my phone then. Okay, hang on. Right then, back on it. So let's have a look at E to F. 
So to get from E to F, now I tend to reference things from the origin if I can, from O. So to get from E to F, I'm going to go from E to O, and then I'm going to go from O to F. And I need to work out how I can do that. So E to O is a backwards O to E. Oh, hang on, I'm making this in. This is part, part B, isn't it? So E to F, so I'm using what I know. So I've got a minus a half A plus C plus a half C plus 3A. So let's expand our brackets and simplify. So minus a half A, minus a half C, plus a half C, plus 3 over 2A. Right, so what have we got going on here? So my C's cancel. So E to F is just A. Now E to F is parallel and the same length as A, because it's A. So E to F is equal to O to A. So that means I've got, I've got one set of parallel sides, and really it should be the same length, shouldn't it? But the vector size it's the same length. So so one set of parallel sides, which is the same length. There. Right. Well, if that's the case, and they're the same length, OE must be the same as AF. So OE must be the same. It can't not be. If it's the same length, it can't not be. So, oh, where I put OA in there? OA. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. O, yeah, OA will run out there. Uh, OE I want, not OA. I was thinking OE and AF. I'm getting all confused. So, OE uh, must be the same as AF because there's no way. That these two here from O to A, if they're parallel and the same length, O to E must be the same as A to F. So then I've got another set of parallels which are the same length. So O E must be the same as AF. So I've got another set of parallels. same size. Therefore, my O to A, OEFA is it? Where's it gone? Uh, OEFA. So O, E, F, A must be a parallelogram. In previous packs, we showed that OE was the same as AF. We're only working on the idea that it must be. Right. There's some consolidation questions next, and I think that's potentially the end of that lesson, it is. And there's some challenging ones as well. How nice is that? Right, see you later. Bye-bye.